Hey, it's Norman with I Save Tractors. In this video, we're going to be doing a walk around of this Atlas Chalmers 416, as well as trying out this cool composter attachment. Check it out. So this handsome tractor is an Atlas Chalmers 416 from 1973. This sports a cast iron Kohler K341 16 horsepower engine. And this tractor, according to tractordata.com, weighs about 850 pounds. This tractor features an electric PTO, electric start, and a hydrostatic transmission, which is controlled by this forward and reverse lever here. Some Alice Chalmers 416s also have a four gear gear shift in the tunnel cover. You can see the hole in the tunnel cover there, but this particular tractor does not. It just has one speed hydrostatic control for forward and reverse. Here's what it looks like under the hood. That's a three and a half gallon plastic fuel tank. And there's the Kohler K34. Great shape for 1973. And as far as I know, the previous owner said, all original paint, everything original. Tractor has pretty standard 23 by 10 and a half by 12 rear inch wheels, as well as 16, 6 and a half by 8 front wheels. As you can see, it gives this tractor quite a bit of ground clearance. This will be great for working in our gardens here. Here's the front axle and front tie rod setup. The front axle is made out of welded steel, strong enough for all the attachments that you would typically want to put on this, but I would personally not recommend using this particular tractor model for a front end loader unless you do some uh, pretty significant upgrades to the front axle, tie rod ends, as well as the front wheel spindles. Here is the drive shaft that connects the engine to a 90 degree gearbox in the middle of the tractor, and then that gearbox is connected to the rear end via a belt. Here is a top view of the rear end. Uh, that belt that you see on the right hand side coming out of the pulley, that is a 90 degree gearbox that is connected to the engine via drive shaft. That belt turns the hydrostatic transmission pump as well as a fan to keep it cool. And what's interesting about all Alice Chalmers and Simplicity Garden Tractors is all of them are set up for rear PTOs. On the left side of this rear end, opposite of what I'm showing you here, is a pulley that's meant to operate rear tillers and other rear PTO powered attachments. Now let's take a look at this composter attachment for this Alice 416. I've never seen a composter attachment before like this, so this is actually what drew my attention to this particular tractor. Uh, so here are the cutting blades inside. So this composter is pretty much a mulcher. So you stick stuff into this little hole. Whatever falls in there gets chopped up with these uh, pretty heavy duty mulching type blades. And then there's that expanded metal on the side. I think that's supposed to help kind of grind everything down. So I think the idea behind this composter attachment is you would drive the tractor up to wherever you have stuff you want to mulch up. So typically leaves, I would imagine. Uh, it could be like weeds and things like that. We're going to put this to the test in a minute. So you drive up to it and you, you know, fill this up with leaves. It chops it up to you know, fine pieces. That way, instead of hauling the leaves away or bagging them up, you can actually just rake them out and spread them, and they will naturally compost and decompose now that they're chopped up into tiny little pieces. Uh, so let's give this composter a try and test it out and see how it does. Okay, for testing steak, I have a pile of weeds that I've pulled. I have a little pile of corn stalks, and then I have a little pile of leaves. Let's just test it out and see how it mulches and composts each of these.
Okay, first up are the leaves. Let's see how this does with leaves. So this composter does a great job at shredding the leaves. You can see them come out of the bottom of the composter. So it does shred them up pretty fine. Let's try out uh, some of the other material that I have. Okay, here I'm trying the composter on just some weeds that I had growing around here. Just some long vegetative material. As you can see, uh, the leaves fell into the hole a lot better. Where these weeds just kind of sit on top and they don't really fall into the composter teeth as well. Here it is spinning around. I think I'm supposed to put in this long rod in the middle to prevent this from happening. So let me put that back in and see how this changes. So it works with these weeds, but not that great. Let's uh, try the corn stalks out. Yeah, it's still not great for corn stalks either. I really think this really shines for leaves. So let's go find some more leaves and put it a little bit further to testing. And this is what the leaves look like after it's run through the composter. The composter has successfully chopped it all up to this really fine organic material. This is perfect to just rake over my lawn, let it decompose over winter and spring. And this should be, uh, you know, great for the soil come uh, springtime when the grass is growing again. Let me show you this composter process another pile of leaves here. And uh, I'll fast forward this clip and kind of see how much effort it takes to take this pile of leaves, which is a pretty big pile, and turn it into a much, much smaller pile of fine leaf shavings.
Hey, not too shabby at all for this Alice Chalmers 416 and its composter attachment. Remember, isavetractors.com, we are your leading source for information, news, education, as well as parts for all of your vintage cast iron small engines, such as your Kohler K-Series, KT Twin, Magnum, K482, 532, engines. We also make parts such as carburetors, pistons, rods, gaskets, oil seals for the old cast iron Briggs engines, as well as the old Onan engines. Right now, we have tons of parts for the Onan CCK engines. And then for the year 2021, we're going to be coming out with even more parts for the Onan B and P series uh, engines. So stay tuned. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.